From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Every second, someone dies in the world. Every two seconds, 10 children are born somewhere. Pushing global population to nearly 7 billion people this year. In India, it's causing a movement of people like 24-year-old Ranjit Kumar Singh from rural villages to big cities such as New Delhi. I came to Delhi so that I can earn some money and give my kids new opportunities. Experts say that within 20 years, India will overtake China as the most populous nation on the planet. Ranjit was a farmer in Bihar, northeast India, also known as the breadbasket of the country. His story is one of more than 300 million stories of people relocating and making sacrifices in search of a better life for their children. He didn't want them to grow up and become farmers like he had. In the village, we don't have many schools, and they can't get a full education. But movement of migrants like Ranjit is a burden on already stretched state resources. Ina Singh is the assistant representative of the United Nations Population Fund in India. The problem is that so far when migration is talked about casually, it's just assumed to be a problem for the city. But it's also a problem for the rural areas as more and more people shift to city life. To keep up with the numbers, every decade, the government of India conducts a census, the largest in the world. The basic objective is to review the past, assess the present, and plan for the future. Registrar General and Census Commissioner of India, Dr. C. Chandramuli. So we present a snapshot of the entire country. This year's census clocked India's population at a staggering 1.21 billion. Information from the census prompted the government to increase resources for social services and health care. This is good news for migrants like Ranjit. But back in his village, living conditions remain dire. As a loyal son, Ranjit continues helping his family with living expenses. Now he's encouraging some of his relatives to join him in New Delhi, where the demand for construction workers is high. I'm bringing everyone from the village here so they can learn and they too can teach their kids. Ranjit's younger sibling, Ranashish, decided to follow in his footsteps, moving to New Delhi. But the city's ability to sustain this rapid population shift will be the deciding factor in whether he stays or returns to his village in Bihar. This report was produced by Mary Ferreira for the United Nations.